Possible in the world of tomorrow. Let us go into the future, into the years beyond 2000 AD. Science fiction adventures in the world of tomorrow. 2000 plus. Today, the men from Mars. The 16th of May in the year of 2000 plus 40 started off as a perfectly ordinary day. The school bus, on the jet number four, had picked up Mickey and Dink as usual, had whizzed them off to another tussle with higher education. The class in elementary operation of mathematical calculators Plus, the class in early history of the first atomic era, from 1938 to 1972, plus the warm spring weather, had the two boys in a dreamy, lazy mood by the time 1000 found them in the free research period in the school library. It was the voice on the intramural audio box that brought them out of their doldrum with a sharp snap. Take note for a contemporary incident course. The International League of Planetary Scientists has just issued a statement that an exploratory expedition to Mars is very likely at some time in the near future. Professor H. D. White, presiding chairman of the League, has made public a statement that the existence of intelligent life on Mars in a form more or less like our own is highly probable. That is all until 1200 recap. Thank you. I guess you heard that, didn't you, Dink? Huh? I said I guess you heard that. Yeah. Yeah, I did, Mickey. Terrific, huh? I wish you'd please keep your voice down, Dave Texton. This is study period. Ah, oh, take a rocket, Maybell. And besides, there's nothing so terrific about that report. We all know they've been contemplating a trip to Mars in the near future for 150 years. What kind of a near future is 150 years? Oh, it's easy enough to sit back and be content. People like you laugh at Christopher Columbus. Who is Christopher Columbus? He sure don't know your history. Christopher Columbus was the name of the first rocket ship to get to the moon way back in 1980. And people like you say they'd never do that. Ah, uh, the moon's real close. Oh, I'm in no hurry to get Mars explored. No, Maybell? Why not? Oh, I know what she means, Dink. It could be pretty scary, those Martians. Their ears could be in their feet, and the eyes could be in the tops of their heads, and the mouths. For all I know, the mouths might be in the back of their necks. Oh, it, it just terrifies me. Eh, nothing to be scared of. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get to my aerologic class. Boy, we sure kidded her, didn't we? Oh, I wasn't kidding, Dink. Did you think I was kidding? Sure, I thought you were. Huh? You were kidding? No, I'd like to go to Mars. As a matter of fact, I'd like to go before the expedition does. I'd like to get there first. For what? For what? Wouldn't you like to be a hero, Dink? Wouldn't you like to go down in history? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, Mickey. I'm just as glad, though, that there isn't anything we can do about it. Who says there isn't anything we can do about it? But we couldn't go to Mars, Mickey. Why not? Well, we haven't got a spaceship. We could get one. Huh? Here. Look at this in today's facsimile paper. Bargains, values, miracles. Don't buy a second-hand spaceship until you see Tillman's terrific values. A 2020 BG Venus Voyager, eight passenger, $900, like new. Huh, you see, we could just buy one. Except we haven't got $900. Thank goodness. Well, I got $60 I made last summer doing our job. And you got 45 But I'm saving that. Huh? But wait a second. Listen to this. 1989 N2 Rocket Cat. Three passengers, eighty-seven fifty. What could you expect? That's our boat. But Mickey, Mickey, it's bound to be a pile of junk. We can do a little work on it and put it in shape in no time. Besides, we'll have seventeen fifty to do it on. Mickey, do you want to go down in history, Jim Texton? Yeah, but I'm a little uneasy about going up in an eighty-seven fifty spaceship. <laughs> Yeah, 
never thought we'd get the old crate home. How's it shaping up, Mickey? Oh, it's great. Did you get that atomic battery off the re-energizer down the fueling station? Oh, I got it right with me, Mick. Only Mick. Yeah? I feel a little shaky about it. There's no sense pretending I don't. Oh, stop worrying. People have been doing this with old spacecraft for ages. No. Sure. Way back years ago, kids used to take second-hand rocket ships and do what they called a... They're scooping them up. I learned about it in history five. You mean they made space mortars that long ago? Sure. Or only they called them hot rods. That's funny. I didn't know they did any space traveling way back then. They did some kind of traveling. I saw a picture of one of their crafts. And I called it an aura bubble or... A what? Aura bubble or something like that. Oh, you mean an automobile. Yeah, that's it. Did they go through space in them? Where else could they have gone in them? Oh, I thought maybe they just traveled on the ground. Don't be silly. You use jet cars for traveling on the ground. That's right. Gee, Mickey, you're smart. Oh, you got to apply yourself, Dink. That's all. you got to apply yourself. Now, oh, we just give this baby a little test. Uh, hitch up that battery coil to the central explosion power. Right. There we are. Now, we throw the switch for a test. You ready? All set. <laughs> Terrific. Shall I try the retarding rocket? Go ahead. Okay, cut it. Well, Jake, it looks like we're in business. Yep. Well, maybe next summer sometime we can cut out and take a stab at reaching Mars and then... Yeah. We're going to take that stab tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Mickey? Yes, sir. Tomorrow night. But, gee, we, we could get in a lot of trouble. What trouble? We might get picked up by the space patrol. People ain't allowed to go circling around in space without a permit. And least of all, in a second-hand job like this. Dink? Yeah? Remember what my old man does for a living? Sure, he's a space cop. Which would make it all the worse for you if he caught you. It would be plenty bad for me. But he's going to catch me. How can you keep him from it? I can find out where he's going to be and use a planet channel as far from there as possible. You think he'll tell you where he's going to be? Oh, he's going to, Dink. You just wait till tonight. I swear they'll put anything in the facsimile paper. You're right, Pop. Anything to take up room. Pop, you're absolutely right. Mm. Here comes some high-frequency scientist with a single-cell brain sounding off about how we should build defenses against an attack from Mars. <laughs> what a knock noodle. Always with a planet. 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 You're right, Pop. Hey, they're all alike. Bunch of dreamers with loose bolts in their turrets. Planet travel. Planet war. Planet exploring. So you hear these days. Planet. You sure are right, Pop. Yep. Hey, how come I'm so right about everything tonight? Oh, well, I don't know, Pop. I, uh, I just happen to agree with you. Uh-huh. Well, stop agreeing with me and eat your egg planet. You mean my egg planet? I mean, leave me alone so I can read my paper. <clears throat> uh, hey, Dad. Hmm? Those scientists think they know everything, don't they? Hmm. Now, you take Professor O'Leary at school, the one who teaches us astronomy. Hmm. He's supposed to be the last word on how the interplanetary area is operated. And he says that the Space Patrol covers Celestial Channel 7 every night in the week. Huh? That's what he said. Who? Professor Leary. What a wise egg. It just so happens we don't touch Channel 7 but once a week. On uh, uh, Sunday night, sir, right? No, Tuesday night. You'd think a professor of astronomy would know better than that. Oh, I guess he had his dates mixed. If a person don't know, they ought to ask. That's the way I figure, Pop. That's just the way I figure. Gee, Mickey, we did it. Ah, we're on our way, Jim. You sure we won't run into the space patrol? Didn't I tell you I found out from my old man last night? Watch this, baby, y'all. I'm going to throw her into super explosion. What were the questions, Jim? Yes. 
Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I'll bet you my new space suit. What do I need with a new space suit if they're going to kill us? Oh, Nick, we never should have started this. Now get hold of yourself, Vince. Don't let maximum panic anxiety create super ego tension. Who's letting maximum panic anxiety create super ego tension? Whatever happens, we we only try to make ourselves a place in history, Vince. Oh, I wish I had a place at home under the bed. Uh, ma'am. Hey, yes, Mr. Martin, Your Honor, sir? We have come to a decision. Yes, sir? You are too insignificant for us to kill, too unimportant, too puny and worthless and stupid. Please, thank you, sir. That's the nicest thing anybody ever said to us. This time we are going to let you go. But if we ever lay eyes on you again... If, for instance, we observe you tomorrow night trespassing in this channel, we shall destroy you. We'll be good, sir. You were better. Or else we shall disintegrate you and use your energy to feed our rocket power. Oh, I know, sir. Please, sir. Then watch your step. Now get back in that obsolete spaceship of yours and close the hatch. Yes, sir. My thing. Hurry up. Come on, quickly, before they take it over. Close the hand, sir. Some trip down. You better close the hangar doors. We don't want anybody to see this space motor. No, I guess we don't. I was just thinking, Rick. Yeah, I know. Were you thinking too? Uh huh. Same thing as me. I guess so. What are we gonna do? I don't know yet. We know something that nobody else in the world knows. Yeah. We know they're up there. We know they're getting ready to smash us to smithereens. I wish we'd have stayed home, mm -hmm. but we didn't. And now we got to face the facts, Vince. I hate facts, don't you, Mick? Mm -hmm. I never thought of it that way exactly. Yeah. I guess I do. Gee, if we tell, we got to also tell that we went up in the space order. My old man's going to raise supersonic blazes with me. Well, it's going to blow the roof off. But still, we got to look at it like Earth citizens. We can't just keep our mouths shut and let the Martians take everybody by surprise. Well, I guess we can't. Are you going to tell? I don't see any other way out. Maybe, maybe they won't have time to raise blazes with us. Maybe they'll be too busy getting ready to fight them off. Maybe so. But somehow or other, I think my old man will find time. 